Hello, Angela. Hello, Rex Swan. How are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Very, very happy to meet you and finally get on with this 23.3 questions. Yeah, I'm happy to. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with you. Who is Angela and where do you work? Okay, so I'm a mathematician first. That's why I work at AIMS Ghana, African Institute of Mathematical Sciences. And I'm a science communicator. So I like a lay person like you to understand the research I do. And I'm a STEM ambassador. I want young people to see me. Right, right. That's a lot packed into one person, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman of uh, different. <laughs> different. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What does the, the Tabri name mean? Yeah, um, for that, I, I'm sorry. I, I tried to look for the meaning of the name, but I couldn't find one. But I know it comes from the Brown Hafu region, even though I don't come from there. And yeah, sorry, I don't know the oh, meaning. Okay. Even Maybe I've we'll, asked my we'll have to. I'll have to help you keep searching for the meaning. Ah, sure, sure. I'm happy to do that. What What is AIMS and what role do you play here? Okay, so AIMS is the Afghan Institute for Mathematical Sciences and I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow here. So what does it mean? It means that I'm paid to do research. So I sit that behind... Exciting. Yeah, so I sit behind my... Com I don't really need a computer, but I just need a piece of paper and pe some pens and I'm supposed to think of some creative math ideas and I also teach. So at Ames, we have um, two master's programs. There's a machine learning one and there's a mathematical sciences one. So I also teach them as a lecturer. Hmm. That's, that sounds very exciting. Right? Yeah. <laughs> How does one qualify to be a math queen? Okay, so for the math queen, the first place you should love mathematics. So I want people who are passionate about mathematics. And secondly, you should be pursuing a career which has a, a foundation in mathematics. So probably you have a degree in mathematics, but you are work, working in software engineering. You could be working in any other place, but you should have some motivation. That means I can be one, right? Sure, you can. You can. Okay. <laughs> and we are looking for mass, uh, mass queen ambassadors. So if you are watching us and you want to be one, just send us a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. What three things do you love about your hometown? Okay, so with this, I had to do some research. So the first place is it's very close to the city. So I checked the distance from here to my hometown. It's just two and a half hours, which okay. means here yeah, is great. And the second one is that we have a lot of schools in my community. So at least from basic school to secondary school, you can get access to education. And the final thing is that I'm not the first PhD from my hometown. So <laughs> <laughs> I used to make this joke that if I was the first person, then there would be a derba and I'll be stored as a queen <laughs> Well, that would, have been, that would have been a really cool thing. Yeah, I'm still looking forward to it. So maybe someone we, sees we, this we, video. We can, and... we can make that happen, right? Okay, maybe. <laughs> well, what's your favorite food and color? Oh, my favorite food. Um, I love plantain. Mm -hmm. Plantain, garden stew and tilapia. Yeah, that's my favorite food. My favorite color, it depends on what mood I mean. So, Currently, I, I love purple. Yeah, initially it used to be pink, but now it's purple. Yeah. Why is it transforming? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think it should be dynamic, right? It shouldn't okay. just be static. Yeah. yeah just stick to everything. Like your room is pink the whole like okay. the whole time of your yeah. life. You know, you have to change. Okay. So. Why mathematics? How did it all begin for you? Hey, mathematics. Oh, okay. So growing up, I loved mathematics and. I found it easy to do. So when we had exercises, I'll be able to solve it easily. But it was at the university. So going into the university, I wanted to read business administration because I was a business student. Yeah, but my grades were, I did, I did quite well, but what I did, yeah, I got five A's, three B's, which wasn't oh, bad, right? Yeah, yeah but it was very you have to borrow me one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I didn't get into the business school. Then my second choice, someone advised me that the combination of mathematics, economics, sociology and theatres would be brilliant. So I said, okay, why not try it? And yeah. I don't regret it. Because like doing maths, I realized there was this joy that came with trying the challenging questions, yeah. use finding yeah. hours, trying to compute them. Yeah, so I really, I really got my inspiration. And now you are a mathematics guru. Ah, I'm not yet <laughs> there. There are people I look up to who are really there. So yeah. I see myself as just... Well, then I will also look up to you then. <laughs> you can. That should work. What's your favorite video game? Yeah, so with that, I'm sorry, but I'm not into video games, so okay. really. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. not into I'll, I'll get you one after this. <laughs> Maybe you can yes. get me. To What's win? one thing people spend money on that baffles you? Like, yeah. you don't get it. Video games. Sorry. 
<laughs> really? Yeah, okay. sorry. <laughs> Describe Glasgow in three words. People make Glasgow. Mm. Yes. That's a good one. What three tourist spots around the world are you dying to visit? The first one would be South Korea. So I used to watch a lot of drama series from yeah. South Korea and I love their fashion. Yeah, everything about their country. That's the first one. Then France, in particular Paris. I would like to go to Paris. The love city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would like to go there. Then the third one would be Kenya. Because I, oh. I love wildlife and yeah, hiking. In Kenya, they have plenty of wildlife. Yeah, so yeah. So those are my three. That wouldn't be a boring experience. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> How does it feel to have a PhD? Personally, I would slap a P, um, the writing <laughs> PhD on my forehead everywhere I go. Like, uh, how, how is the feeling like? Um, okay, so after all that, because in every room you enter, you're probably gonna be like. Uh, it depends. So, okay, so I have this experience. I went to the bank one time and I was going for my ATM card, and on my card I just used my name, Angela yeah. Tabri. Then when I was signing for it, I, I told them, oh, I even forgot about my title. I'm a doctor. All of a sudden, everything changed. Yes. They started smiling, they yes. gave me a seat, I was yes. like, yes. oh, okay, yes. so PhD changing. So on such days, um, yeah, you feel it was worth it, but on a normal day at Ames, for instance, no one calls me a doctor. Yeah. So, well, yeah, I, just... will, I will make sure I refer to the PhD all ah, the time. Maybe when you get there, after all the hard work, you realize, oh, you, you well, get tired. I would, I would probably stick it on my forehead. <laughs> Since you are very good at math, it means you are very bad at chemistry and biology right <laughs> um so just like i was a business student in secondary school so my chemistry and biology are just average uh, yeah they're average but you still got five a's yeah yeah i got a b in science which wasn't bad so really good. Uh, yeah i think i'm not that bad <laughs> current state of social media is a waste of time two or false false <laughs> are you single Oh, sorry, I'm not. Shout out, shout out to my partner who might be watching. <laughs> Good to know. What do you think tutors can do to let all their pupils come to love mathematics? Yeah, so about that, um, so growing up, I was taught mathematics as just a teacher coming to the class today, we are doing this and that, but after going through my postgrad education, I realized when people are talking about maths, they start with the motivation. So I believe if we start lessons with motivation, so today we are talking about area. Yeah. So we, we are here and there are some tiles on the floor, right? So you have to motivate, okay, so let's say someone is going to tile your, your house or your home and you have um, square tiles of, um, of land per se, yeah. one meter. How many tiles do you think they'll need for this space? Yeah. So someone didn't realize, oh, okay, even if we are looking at area, it's just we putting all yeah. these into small yeah, yes. the practical value yes, of it. Yes. Yeah. So it's more about the motivation if we add some motivation to that our lessons. That sounds about right, yeah. yeah. Here's an interesting one. <laughs> the earth is flat. True or false? <laughs> false. Oh, you have to convince <laughs> me on that. <laughs> oh, maybe you should get into... So recently it was on the news that someone was trying to prove that the earth was flat. Flat, and really? Yeah, he, he made his own spacecraft and he, he he took off somewhere in california and yeah he, he died he wasn't yeah. there yeah so the person died yeah because he's he's uh what was it what do you call it the he wanted to go well, to space yes, yeah but yes. he, he did it with his own basic material oh. so yeah, yeah wow okay he that's died, yeah. that I'm sure they'll consider it as a sacrifice for the... Yeah, he, he was, they call him, it was a daredevil, right? You know people who like to do Please. stuff. Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah. Is there anything you like to see change about the math curriculum here in Ghana? Yeah, um, so for me, I see teachers to be the leaders of transformation, right? So if we want to change how mathematics is taught, it, it should come from the teachers. So let's start with the selection process, right? Which people will become teachers yeah. in our basic yeah. schools, in our secondary schools. Very often it's people who yeah. maybe didn't get their first choice um, courses or, yeah, are not really motivated enough. So they just go into it because they want some sort of yeah. livelihood. Yeah. But in other places, it's very competitive. You go for interviews and they choose the best to be mathematics and science teachers. So maybe if we change the, the quality the of selection people, criteria. Yes, exactly. Then we'll be able to change how mathematics is taught. Yes. Here's your next question. What PhD and in what field do you plan getting next? Oh, so 
my next uh, adventure will be in science communication. So if I get bored of the abstract maths <laughs> I'm doing, I will just apply for a PhD in science communication because I feel as scientists we are doing great, but we also need people who will communicate Kids, the, the brilliant the research we are okay. doing to train them. So we will need, I don't, I don't know about our university, but if you have people who are experts in this, yeah. who just have a seminar for our lecturers and they'll train them and they'll be able to communicate that's, to them, that would be great. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say this weekend you are taking me out. What one sport is your easy pick here in Accra to hang out with friends? Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm an indoor person, so my flat is just up here, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll just oh, take okay. you to my flat and I love cooking. So okay. so usually on Friday nights when I was doing my PhD, I used to cook for friends, watch it, especially so they'll come over, we'll have a meal, then we'll chat about oh, everything. Okay. like politics, economics, leadership, and all that. So yeah, that would be where I'll take you to. I, I, I need to find a way to put my invitation on the calendar. So okay, you your mark, the, you know where to find me. Yes, definitely. What's your favorite hairstyle? Yeah, um, so I love any hairstyle that doesn't go beyond my shoulders. Shoulder? Yeah, okay. because it's quite warm here, right? So <laughs> it's from warm to hot. Yeah. Actually. So I, I don't like too much hair okay. growing down. Yeah. So any it could be it could be this, it could be any other. Okay. But it shouldn't it should be at most a certain length. Yeah. Good. Now this is the Jollof wall. <laughs> Jollof is this Scottish Jollof. <laughs> I don't even have Jollof in Scotland, so definitely Ghana Jollof. Oh, okay. How about Ghana Jollof versus Nigeria? After say Nigerian Jollof. Sorry, my Nigerian friends. I'll go for Ghana yeah, that's, that's good to know. Probably they're going to come for you next. Yeah, sure. <laughs> what one fond memory do you have of your kindergarten days? For me, mm -hmm. it's um, playing on a football park that was full of sand. I think in Tamale, Kaponhen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for me, I remember I added a French play, which should really fascinates me. Yeah. Yeah, you speak French? I used to, like growing up, like I was really young. I remember I have older sisters, they were also part of the play. My mom came to see us and oh. I was speaking French so fluently and I've lost it. So what happened along the way? I think we, we stopped having a French, okay. we, did, we stopped learning French, so. I oh, okay. it, yeah. But at the end of the day, it will be easier for you to pick it up again. I yeah, so I guess if I'm serious with it, yeah. I can just yeah pick it up. Yeah. What's one fascinating thing about mathematics you want to share with us? Here's what I want to share with you. The fact that 25% of 8 mm -hmm. is the same as 8% of 20. <laughs> It's kind of spooky like Yeah, that. because it's like you're commuting stuff with different yeah. things, but you still arrive at the yes. same the first time I saw it, I was like, wow, this is fascinating. So what's yours? Yeah, mine would have to do with um, flowers. Um, so I was looking for a sunflower here, but unfortunately, we don't have one. So if you take a sunflower and you look at the seeds in the middle, you realize that there are some spirals from yeah. the from the, from the the middle. Yeah. So these spirals, there's some mathematics behind it. So there's um, a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence. So Ooh. the seeds are arranged in, in, in a that? sequence. So one, one, then when you add the... The, the period two numbers, you get the next number of seeds and all that. So it fascinates me that even plants have this. So it's not just in the sunflower, you yeah. see it. And even sometimes the arrangement of uh, leaves. Yeah, so, Interesting. Yeah, so mathematics, it really fascinates me wow. that yeah, we have mass like, in nature. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite movie of all time? Um, so, yeah, sadly this week, um, one female mathematician passed away. She was Catherine yes. Johnson. Yeah, and I remember watching the movie he Hidden Figures. We went to see it in the theater and I had goosebumps all over, like seeing all that they went through, the segregation, the discrimination and all that, but they still and how they went up. Yes, all that. Yeah. And their story was hidden for a very long time until That's why now. it's hidden figures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they, they, you know, these were the people who put the first American yeah. into space. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. so that's it's, my, my, my I favorite. I really enjoyed watching that. Yeah, one. yeah, I can watch it all over and all over again. So it's that's my a favorite. Really good one. And, and they had a, um, a huge impact. In yeah, yeah. Like in the cinemas, I think, I think it, he broke records. Yeah. 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 What's your favorite musician, or who's your favorite mu musician of all? So, 
this song for that? Um, <laughs> so for now, I, I love a band, but I wouldn't say they are my all-time favorite. So for now, I love Rent Collective. It's a UK, okay. UK band. Uh, yeah, I went to their concert and I, I was just dancing. I have to go and look. I've told them they should come to Africa. They definitely don't have a tour here. They are going on a tour in New Zealand, Australia, but hopefully they come. To I have to go and look for their yeah. songs. And then your favorite TV series of all time. Oh, so I love Prison Break. <laughs> I love Prison Break. Yeah, I got hooked to it for a very long time. Interesting. So, yeah, apart from that, yeah, I don't think any other series has got me hooked okay. yet. Okay, so now it. we've got into the most difficult maths question. Oh, possible. don't put it. <laughs> Please, I have a PhD in maths. Don't make me look like I do. In fact, this question has hunted uh, uh, the mathematics community for centuries, if not millennia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the I mean, question. I think the millennial problems, you know, we have these $1 million problems that if you're able to solve them, oh, you'll be awarded. I don't know yet, but this question, to an extent, doesn't make sense. Here's how it goes. Okay. If 2 plus 4 is 6, Angela has 4 apples, her Uber is 6 minutes late. Calculate the mass of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> the mass of what? The sun? sun yes. I'm sorry, but I want gravity to be nice. Ah, no, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, what formula am I going to use to calculate this? Like, is the question. What is the relationship between the apple, the Uber? It's up to you mathematicians to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> not not, not in, in a minute. Maybe, okay. maybe if I have my paper and yes. then I can I put some. <laughs> Definitely come back for that answer. Thank you so much. Oh, Angela, has it ended? Yes, oh, this is your so last soon. 23 point three question. We'll yeah. definitely come your way with more questions some other time. Okay, thanks Thank for you having for me. Thank you for spending time and we'll see you. Okay, bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>